Um, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing the truth and truth sincerity. And it's a damn shame we got to do these type videos. But like the scriptures say, let all things be done decently and in order. And um, earlier this morning, I watched this video, You Brides of Dracula and Frankenstein, IUIC, Stay the Hell off my channel access denied and I'm gonna title this lesson some of you women claiming to be Hebrew Israelites are completely out of order and I don't normally do videos like this but the apostle said hey you brothers do these videos okay so all you women that's out of order stay the hell off of brothers comment boards who's who's feeding you with this sound doctrine now this comment is from this woman let me, just, let me just pull her up. I pulled her up just to give you a visual. This woman on YouTube, Kana Raya, and you can see mouth wide open. All right. The typical ninja woman. Okay. Typical black American woman talking about prayer and encouragement. No, you're a demon. This is the woman that got on Apostle Rakat, excuse me, Apostle Gabar's page running her mouth. So she said, so sad, I wonder what you say to the business owner who says no show, no shoes, no shirt, no service. This makes doesn't even make sense. Is he trying to control you too? You are showing your fruit. Please repent and search your heart because this is a heart issue. Lady, who the hell are you? And, uh, you know, I looked up the brides of Dracula and Frankenstein. And this is this is this woman. Uh. Kana Raya, all right? This is the bride of Dracula. This is this woman right here in the comment board, teeth hanging out, ready to spew madness. And this is the bride of uh, Frankenstein. That's this woman. That's a lot of you women claiming to be Hebrew Israelites running your mouth, getting on the apostles' comment board, getting on any brother's page running your mouth. So I'm going to bring out this scripture because I don't normally do videos like this. Let's bring out this first scripture. First Peter 4 and 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if at first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? It's too much stuff going on to address you women that claim to be Hebrew Israelites to shut the hell up. It says it in the scriptures. Judgment is coming. And you know what? I just did a previous lesson this week. I uh, titled Dear Jake, Get Ready for the Troops. Well, you out of order Hebrew Israelite woman. That's why they got these troops here for you. All right. They're going to be pillaging you women out here. All right. I got to I got to use a different term besides the grape word. They're going to be pillaging you disobedient women out here. And I'm not I'm not talking about women in the world. We're talking about you women that you, sh you should know better. You women that claim you're Hebrew Israelites. You're running your mouth all over Instagram and social media. And then when you get up to the church, the platform, Full of holy conversations here you go and run your mouth on the comment board so you know what the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shai a lot of you women you believe in yah yahuwah yeshua ahaya jesus christ calling yourself an israelite judgment is going to hit you at your front door let's get this next scripture proverbs 27 and 15 and continual dropping in a very rainy day a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. It's going to be continuous with a contentious woman. Like this woman right here. I'm going to keep screenshotting this woman. Kanaraya, mouth wide open, contentious, full of strife and envy, talking about marriage reconciliation testimony. You a complete demon. Yeah, he knows what he's doing with a woman like you. He's setting you up for your destruction. Let's read that again in Proverbs, Proverbs 27 and 15. You women that claim you're Hebrew Israelites, listen up. Because I don't know, I don't normally do videos like that, but the apostle said, hey, do a video. You women, get off the comment board. Shut up. Proverbs 27 and 15. A continual dropping in a very rainy day, and the contentious women are alike. Always running your mouth. Running your mouth. The devil's turn to taught you how to be rebellious. To the Israelite man. And you know what? The Lord is not too keen on that. Here it is. We go through rebukes. We get reproved. We get admonished. We get the exhortation. 
because it's an order. Read 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that right quick just in case you women that claim your Hebrew Israelites forgot. You got women that still, you got these sent men in Israel still doing videos with the women in 2023 going into 2024. This is the order, Christian order. The, the original Christians were Israelites. This is the Israelite order. 1 Corinthians 11 and seven for a man indeed ought not to cover his head that's for you other hebrew israelite camps that were fitted for a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and the glory of the heavenly father but the woman is the glory of the man you hear that woman for the man is not of the woman but the woman of the man you hear that neither was the man created for the woman but the woman for the man so a lot of you women need to read all right, like I always say on these lessons, you Israelites, you don't read. But you know what? It's not a reading problem. It's a rebellious problem. All right. And he's going to get rid of a lot of you women. Just how like he got rid of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. He swallowed the earth up and got rid of them. All right. A lot of you women, man, you just run your mouth. Mouth wide open, drool hanging out. Like a damn uh, ravenous pit bull with foe. Just sick in the head. So I'm going to get this other preset because that's the order. We get some more precepts. We living in a world that's backwards and these Israelite women, man, they don't, they don't know. All right. They just think it's a, a fashion trend. It's something to do. You know, it's, it's the cool thing to do. No, it's, our life is on the line. A lot of you women, you, gonna, you Israelite women, you women that be on, because we know you be on social media and Instagram. Shalom, brother. I've seen it before in my own eyes years ago. That's why I got off that goddamn Facebook. A lot of you women, you 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 dealing with a man and then you telling a brother, you know, brother message you or what have you. No, most of the time you messaging the brother. Hey, brother, yeah, I like what you post. This is back in the day. These women, and the women probably still do this. You got you got a whole man at home, but you looking for an Israelite brother. That's way off. All right? But you just, are you just being a complete demon at the house? Some of y'all even with the prophets, man. All right. Some of y'all giving these uh, uh, brothers that's in the camp that's preaching the sound doctrine hell. And the Lord is going to deal with you. That man has a job to do at the end of the day. All right. And that's serving the Lord. He don't need all the distractions. A lot of you women, you're just a distraction and the Lord's going to get you out the way. Numbers 27 and 16. Let the Lord, Yahweh, the God of all spirit, the God of the spirits of all flesh set a man over the congregation. You hear that? So we don't need you get on the comment board running your mouth. A man, you got men that's moderators on the comment board. We don't need you running your mouth. All right, let's get another one. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of man. This is for men. Now, we, we know that sisters believe we're not talking about them we're talking about you out of order rebellious women like this woman right here i'm gonna keep screenshotting this woman this is a rebellious woman all right then you had another outrageous comment on the uh, apostles page and i don't even want to get into that comment man all right this is a rebellious woman all right a lot of you women think that uh being an israelite is, is synonymous with being a jehovah's witness or a christian you could just run your mouth you see these Jehovah's Witness women out there next to the uh, grocery store with watchtowers in their hand trying to teach a man. That, a lot of you women are still in that Christianity mind state. And it's a damn shame even I have to do a lesson like this, getting on you out of order women that claim that you're Hebrew Israelites. So let's get let's get it. Let's get the <laughs> let's get the scripture that's gonna solidify this lesson. 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Be quiet. This is a form of church. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. And then, then you got a lot of these Israelites that go like, oh, we don't believe in the words of Paul. Because they're trying to appeal to women. Let your women keep silence in the churches. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. 
but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. Yeah, the law of God that you women say you believe in. Oh, I, just because you stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, that don't mean nothing. That's part of the law, of course. All right. But just this is a commandment to be silent in the church. Of course, we keep the law to the best of our ability. We don't eat no pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. But it's a commandment for you women to keep silence in the churches. See, a lot of you Hebrew Israelite women, you think this is a talk show. This ain't the Ricky Lake show. Okay. Uh, the Tyra Banks show. This is the ministry of God. Yahweh by Shimei was shot. 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. Women should be silent during the church meetings. Be quiet. A shallow woman and that's it. It is not proper for them to speak. This is in the NLT. They should be submissive. But you, a lot of you women are just vultures and pit bulls foaming at the mouth. Claiming you're a Hebrew Israelite with a wrap on your head. To protect that bald spot on your head. Being a complete demon out here. But shalom, brother. See, a lot of you women going to get it, man. These troops is for you hard-headed, rebellious Israelite women, too. You women that claim you're Hebrew Israelites, you're going to get it if you don't repent and be submissive. They should be submissive just as the law says. And I got one more. I'm not going to make this too long. I don't be doing these lessons like this. I, I'm only, I mainly focus on prophecy, but the... Apostle Bar said, do a lesson on it. You out of order, rebellious women. Get the H, get the F off the comment board. Run your mouth like it's a daytime talk show. This is not soap operas. This is life or death. This whole society is about to get shut down. And then when Isaiah 4 1 come to pass, nobody, the Lord is not going to give you a man to protect you. You're going to be wide open for the wolves. So you women, you need to learn some order. A lot of you Hebrew Israelite women are out of order. Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter. Hey, let's get in the NLT first. As you enter the house of God, keep your ears open and your mouth shut. It is evil to make mindless offerings to God. And that's what you women do. Get on the apostle Gabar's page. The man has been in the truth for decades. And here comes this silly minded woman. I'm going to screenshot her again. This silly minded woman. With this tacky weave on, this tacky hairdo, trying to get on the Apostle uh, Gabar's page. This silly, tacky, contentious demon right here. Don't make rash promises and don't be hasty in bringing matters before the Most High. That's why women don't have no wisdom like it says in Job 39 and 17. A woman will just run her mouth. And if you're not, and if you don't have order of this woman, which I want to suggest getting with the black woman. First and foremost, she's going to get you in some trouble. Don't make rash promises and don't be hasty in bringing matters before the Most High. You're that big Shirley spirit. After all, God is in heaven and you are here on earth, so let your words be few. So I'm going to just end it off on that, man. Shalom.